Very good. And why okay. haven't I got my background? Hang on a second. Um, <laughs> You've got a green screen instead. Yeah, there we go. Better. There's the young Margaret and the young Wayne. <laughs> and the alive Chris. Mm. Mm. Uh, so anyway, I was just going through marking the role. Well, Ian, Ian's, <laughs> called, Ian's not well, actually, apparently. When I read yeah. it. Um, Which Ian? Ian Hamilton, sorry. Ian Hamilton. Oh, Ian, 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 Ian McKee's not. Uh, and Ian McKee, I either. think, said he couldn't do it. I think. I think. He's got some surgery. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him a buzz afterwards and see how it's yeah. getting on. Mm. Yeah. It's, sorry to have to be Lucy, but I've eye surgery. Unfortunately, it takes place early. So I'm going to pass on during the Zoom lunch. All the best to everybody. That's right. Oh, we see. So, unless uh, Rhonda manages to join us. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, oh well. Wow. Anyway, so um, 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 a bit of a catch up, I suppose. Kevin, you want to start? You're on my top left hand corner, so you can start. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've been um, just doing my usual. I've just been telling Margaret and Andy, Andrew, that I've been um, just doing my one day a week as the secondhand charity bookshop that's been really good they kept me busy i'm the vice president of the group now so i get more work and stuff and i still do tech support because we have to run our square to take payments so <laughs> i keep my hand in but i really um I got doing one a lot of of, good I? Mm. yeah i've been a member of a, a, to, a camera club for what four years or so now so i've really been getting into that and this year i'm going to actually join our print exhibit. So I'm going to have stuff at the Kiama Fire House exhibit down in May on the wall so people can actually see and buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the photos will well, be You've got some stuff to show us? Yeah. Oh, I'll show you some old stuff if you let me share yeah. my screen. Yeah, this is old stuff, though, not things I'm up to date with. Um, let me have a look. Where is it? God, I'm getting out of date right. with... Um, Hang on a second. I've got to try and find my safari. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Can you see that? No. No. You haven't shared your screen yet. Oh, I haven't shared it yet. I've been too busy trying to get it. You need some tech support, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been, I've been. Is that good? Can yep. you see that? Well, yeah. Ah, yes. Well, you yeah. can't, Andrew, yeah. Okay, I'll um shut. I don't know why it's gone like that. I'll fix it in a moment. From your travels? Ah, oh, yeah, these are ones from all over the place. Have I shared? Are you? Oh, hang on. Boy, I'm so <laughs> out of date doing this. I am so out of date doing this. I'm just getting stuff out of the way. So you so superimpose the coloured woman on the black and white. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I'm trying to see why this. Something's really weird when you use Zoom with the Safari. Great. Are you still seeing it? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh -huh. kind of off center a little bit. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to sort out. It's better. Right. I'll just go through. These are really old ones of mine. <laughs> These from my travels. So how, so how did you get the the background non color and the, and the foreground color? How did you do all that? Oh, right. That's just using layers. Right. The equivalent of Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? The black. Yeah. Well, that, like that was that a black and white background? Yeah, yeah. I just um, did a lot of work on that. It's actually from a bigger um, photo. Um, and what I did was, yeah, I used two layers and I just um, t desaturated the background and just kept her in the color. But if, yeah. if you'd see the original one, it was really bright. You know, the flag at the back there was, you know, the communist yeah. red. And all that. Yeah, so I just, that's all I've been doing. I haven't been doing. I really like this one. I love um, Vietnamese um, <laughs> market stalls that just sit them on the rails and just oh, have to get is that, a, is that still being used as a train? Yep. 
<laughs> I saw one come through. It's only a small thing, but it came through later. You can tell by the rails too that they're very shiny. So they just move stuff out of the way. They hear it coming for ages. <laughs> but it's otherwise, it's a marketplace and a fork place. It's weird. <laughs> but this is from a few years back. I've just oh, been yeah. using That's it. lovely. Yeah. That's from Turkey, I think. No, no, um, Croatia. What camera have you got? I've got two now. I've been Sony's a Sony um, ASPC, which is a smaller one, six four four hundred, and I've got a Sony R three, which is the full frame one now. That's the one I've oh, been yeah. using a lot lately, and a fair number of lenses. More That's than expensive, I isn't it? That one, I think. Ah, it's really old one. Um, they're up to five now, I think. Oh, <laughs> I no. bought it. It's it's about five, six years mo model old, but it's oh, really good. So it's fantastic. That's my brother. That, how Andrew. does the Sony stuff compare to the Canons these days, Kevin? Um, in terms of quality, really good. Yep. But I I'm stuck with Sony, but I think Canon and Nikon um, and definitely Fuji are leaping ahead in terms of user control. How you work with a camera, they, the cameras are better to use in some ways. I, mm -hmm. I've got a lot of friends in the club who use those. Fuji, you can do so much in camera. You just do stuff in camera and you can just print it out or show it. You don't have to take it into Photoshop. Or, anyway, we've got yeah. artwork on our in our living room. That's from a friend, Olga, and she's done it all in camera. <laughs> no, a, a friend of mine was only saying to me yesterday, I wonder, you know, if if photos photographs can be used as evidence anymore, I don't yeah, think so. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's so much AI I can get yeah. done. Yeah, site so, oh, site is yeah. very much overrated, isn't it, Andrew? What is site? Oh yeah, yeah, site. Yeah, yeah. quite unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> here's here's one, Andrew. I'm showing you. A, it's a um, one man band from the National Folk Festival for about three four years ago now. Mm -hmm. Wayne, you probably know this fellow. If you, I think you so. Yeah. Him. Um, something brown, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, sorry, Andrew, I should do. I have got all tags on this, I thought, but they won't come across. Will they, they won't come across on this? This is yeah. the lady in a very bright costume. I've, I've, got, um, a pro I've got a problem with Zoom, at yeah. least on this machine, where <laughs> I can't seem to get focus on the, the shared screen part. Um, I mean, if it's text, then the screen yeah. reader can OCR the text um so but, can you see can you get text at the moment no uh no That's i can't weird. on this machine i can in zoom i can never seem to to get the focus onto the shared area which is a real bugger uh because I'm, I'm going to tell you about something in it when, when it comes yeah, down sure. to my turn but um yeah. um yeah i've got to try to sort that out i mean it seems to work in teams uh and i, I can make it uh yeah I've, I've made it work on on my notebook but on this one it's not it doesn't it doesn't do it. But anyway, carry on. Anyway, anyway, just showing you. There's Jufa Yindi from 22. <laughs> uh, uh, a few things. Up it. Don't worry, I'll, I'm going to get stop sharing. You've had enough of mine. But, yeah, so I keep myself good. busy with that. Good for um, you. Yeah. Today is um, a big day because it's Rosalind's um, farewell um, mm -hmm. tonight. So right. she's retiring. <laughs> From school. Retiring officially from school teaching, she's been on long service leave for the oh. last year or so, but now she's re officially retiring. So they're going to, she's been practicing her farewell speech <laughs> all week. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've got that tonight, and then we've got our niece's um, engagement party tomorrow. So we're keeping busy, oh. and uh, and our son, my son Kieran, moved down to Melbourne last year. I was just telling Margaret before. He's um, jacked, jacked in his job. He was at the university on a, doing a research data analysis stuff, research stuff, and he got fed up with it. So he went down and became, got into a share house and has been planting trees for money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's finally picked up some work at the University of Melbourne in the archaeological department. It's only part-time at the moment, so he's still looking for a full-time job. <laughs> anyway, but they've offered him to take him to um, Laos in September oh. to do some research on all these strange stone jars that mm -hmm. are, that are about 3,000 years old or so. They want to know how exactly old Don't they are. Don't drop so. it. 
they you could fit inside one of these jars, oh. Andrew. They were all on the landscape. I was looking at their website. Yeah. There's one site. There's about 300 of these big human-sized jars. Good they Lord. don't know what they were for or anything. So there's a whole team from from a number of universities in um, Australia go over there with the Lao government working. Oh, holding lots of booze, perhaps, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, probably. I think so, too. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, so he's doing that, and, and Sean is just still in um, Canberra doing all his media stuff, but he's got a new um, documentary coming out soon. I'm looking forward to it. It's about um, carers, people who are looking after um, their family and relations who've got severe physical problems and what how they deal with life and everything i don't i haven't seen anything yet about it except a couple of clips so i'm looking forward to that yeah so we're there's not much going on here <laughs> i know what you're doing wayne i keep seeing the, all the emails and stuff <laughs> oh and then Rosalind, and i spend more time going chasing Rosalind around she's been at two uke events so she was at the blue mountain ukulele festival and wayne i might have her group might be worthwhile for come fall because they got there. They were the first group up in there. Um, the Carrington Hotel. It's got that little jazz venue called the Bohemian Room. The the audio man couldn't get any of the amp the system working for them, so they had to. They don't need it. They yeah, well, they had to perform a cappella. Yeah. And they did a really good job because Acoustic. the acoustics in the room so much better. were so good. And then when he did get it on right in the middle of their song, it ruined it because the, <laughs> yeah, it's the, levels, the levels were all different oh. for the different um, microphones. So oh. where they it's all like sounded... so angry, hard. this obsession with marking up everything, you know, whether it's needed <laughs> or not. Oh. Wow. Anyway, I said to them afterwards, you're getting so good and you've got the sound that you should, I should contact Wayne and say, here, yeah. coming up. <laughs> well, somebody did contact me about some ukulele thing, but it yeah. was too big, too many people or something. I can't remember. Oh, name. yeah. Well, God, some of the, I mean, Ros's group are sort of the middle, middle of the quad level of, of performance. Some are your usual amateur side but others there you could easily pay good money to go and see them some of the groups we watch there good was one doing lady player oh, oh damn <laughs> you'd be surprised it's excellent yeah so yeah so and she's got her choir performances and stuff so i've been where, doing where, the where does she get her you from um kevin uh, um not certain i think she bought it we've got this piper's music that's right it's literally five minutes walk from our house. Oh. So we buy a lot of stuff through them. Yeah. But Ros is long. Mm, sorry? A friend of mine uh, in the Woodworkers Association makes ukuleles. Ooh. And, and ch charges always... qu quite serious money for them. <laughs> well, Ros might be interested. She's yeah. looking for a different style. Yeah. Uh, uh, his, his stuff's really nice. The, where does she tune her bottom, bottom string? Uh, the lower G or the higher one? Lower, I think. Lower, yeah, that's, that's actually yeah. because the, the friend I, I've known for years and years, years didn't, and uh, yeah, Tim tells me that it, yeah, that should be down there. Yeah, 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 that's right. She knows that. Yeah, no, he She's... makes this beautiful stuff. I mean, it uh, it sounds good, but it, it looks good too. It's, yeah, it's good. well, she's a member of two year groups. One that that go to that they go and perform, and the other one's more of a community right woman's group that right. she. She's more of a teacher at than mm -hmm. the performer at, so she's enjoying that. Yeah. So I follow her around. I'm like the, the groupie. You're the roadie. That's a roadie. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, over to you, Andrew. What uh, yep. What have you been doing? Okay. Well, I'm still working on Tuesdays at the UTS. Uh, oh. Doing what again? Doing what? Oh, bugger all. Um, <laughs> uh, no, my, my tech support is it? Is no, it... no, no, no. It's it's well, not really. No. I mean, helping. Um... It's it's working with um, students who have disabilities who have some mm. sort of technical requirement. Mm. So it may be just even just an initial discussion about what sort of equipment might be relevant, because uh, it's amazing how many of them don't know what's available. Uh, so often teasing that out. Um, 
So you yeah. have to keep up to date with all of that stuff. Try to, yeah, try. Mm. God, try, try to. Have to. Better, is it changing a lot? Is it is it is it moving? Oh ahead? yes, oh yes, yes. Um, uh, which I'll come to in a in a second, actually. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's changing all the time. Uh, one of my frustrations last year was I I saw several students in a row who were having you know, quite severe problems um, with you know, sore hands and stuff and. And we didn't, you know, I said, well, what, what you need really is a, you know, a, a big trackball rather than the mouse. Uh, so the boss allowed me to, to buy a whole bunch of this stuff. And I've started lending that out to students. And um, yes, I'm, I'm pleased that we're doing that because it was a bit frustrating saying, well, this is what you need. And so I can't afford it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and we've got one thing called the Orbi track. Um, which Orbi. is, it's, yeah, it's a cute little thing. Um, you just put your finger, say, on, uh, in the middle of it on a, on a raised blob. But when you move the finger off to any direction, uh, the, the mouse starts moving in that direction. And you don't have to keep sliding. You just move, put it in one spot and the mouse keeps moving till you put it back into the centre again. So mm -hmm. it requires very, very little physical movement, like no pressure, really. And the buttons are like the left, right, and lock, and so forth are all just touch buttons. Uh, and the one student now, one of her grumbles with it was that it doesn't give you a scroll option, so that that gets a bit messy. Uh, but I, I think for someone with with quite severe problems, it's quite nice. But quite a few of the big big trackballs, these you can just use the palm of your hand on. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I think it working quite well, along with some of the readily available stuff like through JD Hi-Fi, like the, uh, the vertical mouse and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, so it's doing that. Um, uh, some of the stuff that's happening on particularly the Mac, like with your, your, your now with your speech input, has become really quite powerful. Um, uh, so that's good. Um, the vertical mouse. Yeah, so instead of instead of your hand, be, you know, the palm of your hand being downwards, you, 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 if you can see my hand, yeah, you, it's sideways. Um, I can't see your hand. <laughs> okay, you see my hand yet? Oh, oh I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Bring it in front of your face, Harry, Andrew. That's yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So ah. that way rather than that way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, which yeah, some people seem to prefer. Um, so yeah, uh, like. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, do you go into in person or do you do it over the phone? I, I almost always go in. Um, I mean, because because I'm only working one day a week, I prefer to go in. And I also prefer to have students in the room with me rather than talking to them over Zoom, although we do a fair bit of that as well. Um, some of my colleagues are only working a couple of days a week, a week in there and and um, spending the other other days at home, and that that seems to be working quite well. Um, um, uh, I'm getting messages from workers as I speak. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> tell them to fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I, I'll, I'll just drop that into the chat. Hang on a sec. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, well, for my sins, I've got Teams on this this home machine as well as my work machine. So, of course, anytime anyone sends a message, it pops through. Um, Is Teams working for you? Okay, like you can get all the text. Teams stuff. is is that what you said? Teams. Yeah. Uh, it's clunky, uh, mm. but it's not dreadful. But it's uh, yeah, it's a bit clunky. Uh, it's it's conferencing facilities aren't. <laughs> as nice uh, in some respects as Zoom, uh, but uh, in terms of screen sharing, it's actually working better for me at the moment until I solve this issue. <laughs> um, oh, right. um, but yeah, by and large, you know, Zoom is a, a bit nicer to use, and the, and the chat stuff in Teams, yeah, it's clunky, but it, it's 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 manageable. Um, on the other on the other hand, the NVDA screen reader is just yeah, coming along really, really well, and it's completely uh, comparable with the commercial stuff. Um, really? Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, much, much more simple to use, less complicated, but uh, in pretty much all respects, you know, doing as as good a job, and it's free, of course. <clears throat> Which brings me to the whole AI thing. Um, 
<laughs> for several, at least a year, several years probably, Microsoft's had this free app on the iPhone, and I think it's on Android now as well, called uh, Seeing AI. And it can do a host of stuff, like the, you can just hold it up in front of the screen, for example, it'll read what the text that's on the oh, screen yeah. uh, or on a page. <clears throat> So this morning, I wanted to check what my name was on my credit card. Did I have the, the middle initial? And it just reads that straight off. Uh, you can also essentially take a, take a picture of a page so as you can go over and over it and save it or whatever. Uh, you, you have a scene description where it'll give you a description of a scene. Uh, it's supposed to it'll identify currency. Uh, you, if you set it up properly, you can have it identify each individual. Um, but there's another, there's an organisation called Be My Eyes, which started out, I think, by a guy in Holland, but I might be wrong. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, it's, a, it's an app on the phone, and if a blindie, well, I suppose anyone else who has cognitive problems, um, wants some help with something, you just call the app, and some a, a volunteer answers, and through the, through the camera on your phone, <laughs> they, they can well for example you know um a few months ago I, I forgot where the button was to start the dishwasher and i just held the phone and she said oh no there's the one over on the right yeah that one yeah, uh, <laughs> right, yeah. So what, what they've done <clears throat> uh as of a few months ago is to produce it uh have a thing called be my ai where instead of calling a volunteer you just take a photograph and it then sends it off to OpenAI, which mm. sends back a description, uh, which is very, very detailed. And then there's a, an edit field where you can say, tell me more about you know, whatever component of the, of the image that you want, and then it'll tell you more about it, uh, which is quite extraordinary. Um, and yeah. like it's telling me stuff about, you know, where the, the colour changes on the wall in my in the house and that sort of stuff, which is stuff I've never thought about. Um, and so even just for getting an understanding of you know the, the visual appearance of the house, it's really quite striking. But if I'm somewhere else, uh, it can give me you know, quite a lot of information about what's around. And just this morning, I've managed to get running an add-on for NVIDIA, uh, which will give me a description of, of images. Uh, so um, if I share my screen for a second, uh, before I do that. Okay, this will do. Yeah, reduce okay. speed. <laughs> Saying that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this morning, um, I I got a description of that from this from this add-on, which I'll now go to. Uh, I can let you hear that. Actually, you can probably read it as well. If I turn that up. That's amazing. It shows a motorcyclist standing next to their black motorcycle on the side of the road. The motorcyclist is fully geared with a helmet, bike jacket, and gloves. Behind them is a tall red and yellow truck indicating a winding road for the next 105 kilometer and advising to reduce speed. The natural environment. No, 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 don't turn it down. Move, drag the uh, the text the, the window down. Oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, oh, all right, sorry. I oh, couldn't you see it all. No, it's, it's it's blocked. No, no, it's even worse than it, the, the text was blocked. We can read. Picture. We can read the text. We can't see the picture to see. Oh, if it's it's blocking oh, it. of course. It's, it's, oh, we uh, can remember what the picture was. <laughs> well, I think picture. it's very. It's very. Uh, but that was incredible. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So what? What? That's. Hang on, I'm a bit loud now. I'll just turn this off down a bit. Uh, yeah. So that's. Uh, that's an add-on for, for NVIDIA. Um, now, it's not entirely free. You've got to pay a subscription mm -hmm. to OpenAI, but um, it's, it's very small, very small amounts. Um, 
That and is that, that's really incredible. Yeah. That's that's really quite a, and as you could see, it, it let me save save that that description as well. Um, so it, yeah, and it's doing it uh, coming back in under half a minute. Um, uh, so I, I plan to go through a whole lot of photos and and <laughs> work mm -hmm. out what's what with it. Um, uh, now he's, he's the guy who's developing it. He's talking about reading charts and all sorts of things with it. So it, it's, wow. it's really quite exciting. So the whole you stop uh, sharing now, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> all right. Whoops! I've just turned myself down. I can't hear me. Just turn off the sharing where you started it. That's off, isn't it? No. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. That's it. Oh. I can. See. Oh, there yeah, that's it. There you go. There you go. Well done. Yeah. So that's that's been very exciting. All this whole AI stuff is. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I hadn't really thought about that, but of course, yeah, there's incredible. Oh yeah. Natural for blind is, isn't there? And I mean, the the descriptions are going beyond what a human would would write. That's the mm -hmm. the thing that's striking me, that it's putting a lot more feeling into it if you like um you know like if, if i take a yeah you should have asked one of us to describe the picture first that's <laughs> right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, actually and that that photo was taken uh it, we'd done about 600k that day on the bike and it was 40 degrees <laughs> wow and uh, uh, it was just before we got to Warbost in uh, in victoria um, and yeah, <laughs> we were keen for a bit of a stop. And and I, the photo is called Bogang Highway because this road, which is 105 kilometres, half of which is dirt, and they call it a highway. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on the map. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it starts from I think it's Nimitabel or thereabouts, and okay. it wends its way down the mountain to uh, to Albost. Um, All right. Yeah. And a, it's really, uh, yeah. We were down in Ballarat a couple of weekends ago visiting Kieran. Uh -huh. So he's got a girlfriend who lives in Ballarat. So we instead of going to Melbourne, we went there instead. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I was look, looking at all the road, road routes. <laughs> so I, that's why I noticed that highway and decided not to go that way. No, 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 don't go that way. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, a, a few weeks ago, we, we had another expedition to Phillip Island to watch motorbikes go round and round. And we, Russell bought a new bike <clears throat> halfway through last year. Uh, well, it's a, it's a used bike, but it's a, it's a newer bike uh, with a view to being a bit more comfortable and so forth. So uh, for those who are interested, which is probably none, it's a <laughs> Yamaha Tracer GT, uh, three-cylinder 900cc engine. Oh. Uh, and yeah, we had a... Had a good trip. We did well with the weather. Missed the uh, the storms and the fires and uh, yeah, lucky. Uh, we went through Merbu North, which is the one that the little place that got hit by this huge storm, and uh, we weren't sure if the road was going to be open. And when we went through, Russell said said the road's cleaner than it's ever been because someone's come <laughs> through and swept all the logs off it. <laughs> oh right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we saw a few places that were closed because of the floods they'd had just before we came. Yeah, yeah. Came yeah well, we, we did okay with all that. Uh, yeah. uh, of course, uh, in 2020, when we were, went down and back, was just after those horrendous bushfires. Mm -hmm. And there were parts of the Princess Highway that were literally melted uh, yeah. from the fire. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, we had to come back up the Bogang Highway because the Princess was closed for repair. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, that's that's all been that's all been fun. Uh, I'm still cycling mostly one day once a week, but my friend who I cycle with has just built a house in Bundanoon, so he's sometimes down there. So that means uh, can't cycle when he's down there, um, mm -hmm. but I'm still enjoying that. Um, we did a bit of uh, landscaping at the front of our place. Uh, put down some. Um, some pavers and uh, that's, that's looking all quite nice and um, Russell's still working in Canberra servicing VWs uh, Fiona's still teaching at Chatswood High School um, 
Brandy's. So where's going. Russell working? VW? Is it the VW? Um... It's not a it's not a VW dealership. It's a it's a yeah. it's a independent uh, service place. Yeah. Oh, uh, I have to get the name off. What's the name of it? Uh that's a good question because I keep forgetting. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, Sean has a VW. <laughs> does he? Where, where, where's he live? Through. Uh, he lives at um, oh, uh, Radden. Oh, anyway, he lives in. An... Oh, he's in Canberra, is he? Yeah, Canberra. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get the name. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Just, he's uh, on Northbourne Avenue, but I think it's at Turner, actually. I oh, right. Get... Okay. So yeah. he's, yeah, he's very close in. Yeah. Because it goes uh, through several suburbs there. So I always forget which one he's in. <laughs> oh, no, don't you what? Yeah. That's, uh, that's <laughs> anyway, do I, let's move on to Margaret. See what, what have you been doing? Apart from what have I been doing? Bloody emails. Oh, Poison yeah. <laughs> no, I lost my phone for a bit, so I found oh. it again, though. <laughs> Only at home. Yeah. Um, what have I been doing? Oh, I've been walking the dog a lot because Chris has got a bung foot, so oh. he doesn't do anything. It's the dog walking. So What's that your takes dog? about what sort of dog? It's a fox terrier. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah. Hey. It's a very energetic little dog, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's about two hours every day right. walking. Goodness. Um, we've had people staying with us a lot, so I've kind of been kind of caught up in all of that. Um, what else have I been doing? I've been trying to learn Spanish, oh. and if any of you have been learning Spanish, I'm not talking to you <laughs> at all. <laughs> Don't look at me. Because <laughs> I find it really hard. Oh, well, Fiona's been doing some stuff with her. I don't know. I presume she's still practicing. I, I don't know why yeah. she did it, but uh, yeah, she got some online thing and was. So why are you Why are you learning Spanish? You going to go to Spain or something? Um. Well, we did a little trip to Mexico. Little trip to Mexico. Little, yeah, little, 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 little trip to Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> well, it was. We were supposed to go to um, Chile, except we never got our visas in time. Oh, so. Yeah. We had oh. to make alterations, which was a bit annoying. But still, we just stayed in Mexico City. That was nice. Yeah. Oh, lovely. That was interesting. Yeah. When was that, Margaret? That was oh, July last year. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So that was yeah. that before Chris bungered his foot, was it? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, he got, you know, plantar fasciitis. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, so yes. he's got that. So he's been hobbling around oh, dear. Yeah, for got about a version three of weeks. Yeah, it's a yeah. Word, yeah. yeah. Plantar fasciitis. Oh, okay. Sore foot. Takes a long time to go. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That's, that, that's Latin for sore foot, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. it sounded something yeah. like that. I wasn't yeah. certain. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. Under, underneath the foot. It's, uh, yeah. And I've been doing, what else have I been doing? Trying to fix up some of the, doing a little bit of woodwork, but nothing like Andrew does. But I did repair our old um, mailbox, which mm -hmm. was rotting away. Yeah, yeah. So I managed to pull it apart, replace the mm -hmm. rotting bits and mm -hmm. fix it all up again and get it back out there. It took me some time. In the mm -hmm. meantime, we had a... Um, Plastic ice cream container is the <laughs> mail box. <laughs> so it's just as well you don't get much mail. I was going to say, <laughs> they, they've almost become a uh, an artifact, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, that's right. But I so, wanted to keep this because Dad had made it. So, oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, that's good. Quite point. sentimental. Mm. Yeah. So, no music, no technology? Um, not, not really. I do have played a little bit. But last time I got our piano tuned, the guy said it's on its last leg, uh, <laughs> which mm. is sad. So he suggested I could just either play it into the ground or <laughs> get it replaced. So I've done uh, that. And some of the people that have stayed here have been piano players, so I've been listening to it being played. <laughs> and yeah. and what's, what's wrong with it is just not holding its tune. No, the wood... I think is too old and dried out. Oh, right. what, I think mm -hmm. is that's what he said. So it's very difficult for it to be tuned anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Oh, what a shame. And then other things I've done is a bit outside with our garden. I do like gardening, but I have laid a brick path, and I've laid a crazy paving path too. Well, show which us. Was show a lot us. Of, no, show I can't it. show you. 
I Why can't not? show you because I can't go out the back because we've just Why had not? our deck um, oiled and you can't walk on the <laughs> oh, Come on. Oh. You're on a portable thing now, can't you? You seem to be on a portable thing. You're on an iPad. Yeah, yeah. Get up and walk Yeah, but outside. I can't get out the back door. Oh, show us through the, the window. The show us through <laughs> the can't... window. You can't oh, see out the window. Oh, no, I'm not going to. I'll show you oh, next time. Oh, yo. yeah. Andrew, you're so looking forward to it too. You did wrong. Right. <laughs> yeah. So that's about it, I think. Wow. That's really And what good. have you been doing, Wayne? Well, just much the same, really, I guess. Lucy Woven yeah. keeps doing it three concerts a year. Um, yeah. Interesting thing last year was that uh, we uh, uh, um, oh to quit so the story of it I've all I'll tell you about the Corona Ensemble that I'm, I'm organising another group now too did I mention that last year I mean I probably did don't think so but, no. um, in 2019 Gail who'd been is learning the violin right she she was playing in a in a in an orchestra a, D, a school for seniors orchestra at DY you know not not very good mm -hmm. but, mm. and the conductor her partner suddenly died and she just disappeared so they're suddenly they're without a conductor and it all just fell in a heap and um and Giles suggested look why don't you take over the orchestra until I can find a real conductor you know I obviously I can't be a proper conductor but I you know I can sort of lead rehearsals and things so we sent an email out inviting them to come to Hump Hall on Tuesday morning instead of going to St David's Church at D1 on Tuesday morning and um um if they wanted to and some of them took us up on the offer and um uh time went on and on and on and they just never ever did get a conductor as far as i know the orchestra never did find stuff again but we'd been kept yeah. week after week we said well, you know, well let's let's do something we got a nice little we had five 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 violins four five violins and two cellos yeah and then me on keyboard or uh and, and concertina playing concertinas the viola parts and cello parts in the con and anyway oh, okay and having the keyboard play itself using the MIDI, you know. And um, um, so we, it, this was in the tw middle of 2020, so we called ourselves. Uh, the Corona <laughs> Ensemble. <laughs> yeah, the I was just holding up a business card, Andrew. The Corona Ensemble is what we called ourselves, yeah. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's now Wednesday morning. It's still going. So all these years later, and we we got when we had enough stuff to do, we started doing concerts at the retirement villages where Lucy Woven goes. So and what it's evolved into every Wednesday morning, we are either coming here to, to build up a new repertoire, or we're on a Wednesday morning performing at a retirement village somewhere. And we're up to program number six now. Six six programs we're doing. So that's good fun. But uh, at one time, we were about to go to perform at a retired village in Motorvale called, um, uh, oh, I can't think of now. But, um, and I give, I gave, always give them posters to put up and that. And I got a phone call. This is a, a few days before we were doing the concert there. I got a phone call from one of the residents and she rang up to, so oh, hello. Yeah, I, I'm one of the residents um, at Minkara and um, I've just, just got, I bought myself a cello. And I was wondering if I could bring it along and play along with you at the concert. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I said no, oh. it wouldn't. Be. <laughs> but I did talk to her and suggested she come to rehearsals. Anyway, she she did after that concert. She did come start coming to rehearsals and perform with us. And um, and then I told her about Lucy Woven, and I said, you know, that uh, you know, if you're enjoying this, you might enjoy Lucy Woven. And she said, oh, that sounds good. So this is um, at the end of 2022. So I we thought great. So for the first concert for last year, 2023, we we arranged all the music for cello, as well. You know, and um, and we just pretty well finished all the arrangements when I got a phone call from her saying, "Oh hi Wayne, it's uh, better, but here I, I I've been able to think. I think I might just leave it at the Corona Ensemble. I think Lucy Woven might be a bit much." I said, "We've just done all the arrangements for bloody cello." And she said, and she, oh, all right, oh, hang on, I'll tell you what, tell you what. And I thought she was going to say, okay, I'll do it. But she wasn't. She said, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell my cello teacher about it. Maybe she'd like to do Lucy Woven concerts. And I thought, oh, yeah, bloody likely. But guess what? I got a phone call oh. the day from her cello teacher. And she came along and she did the concert and she was unbelievably good. The best <laughs> cellist we've ever had. 
What's more, um, I we, we'd already done the program, but I, I, I said, do you sing? She said, oh, yeah, so I sing. Do you want to sing a song? She said, all right, I'll give you a call, you know, and let you know what I'm thinking. So next day, I got a call from her. She said, you want to sing an Aretha Franklin song? And I thought, oh, yeah, right, because <laughs> not many people can sing Aretha Franklin song. No. So I said, yes, perhaps you'd better pop in here. We'll give it a go. So if we popped in. And um, I, I say a little prayer is what you want to do. We've done it before, so I had the piano part. So I just started playing, say a little prayer. We got about two or three bars into it, and I just said, hey, woo, stop, stop. She was brilliant. I didn't need to go. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So really good see ya. really good cellist. And guess how old she was? 19. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievably gorgeous, just beautiful looking, tiny, yeah. tiny looking. Um, and it turned out she was um, she's into all sorts of things. She was stage managing a play down at Manly. Well, we went and saw the play. Oh. And it was funny. At one, at one point, she rushed on to help move the set. It was so funny seeing this tiny little thing come on. <laughs> on <this> thing. Um, <laughs> but she was just lovely and just brilliant. And she ended up doing, uh, uh, didn't do the middle concert, but she did the, the last concert, Zero Gravity. Um, I could, do you want me to play, I could play a big video? Do you want to see it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll show, I'll show you. Happy to see it. Yeah. Um, you can, there's, she did two songs. She, the, the song that she picked is Zero Gravity, which I don't know whether you know it or not. It was a, a Eurovision um, entry, Australian user. We, we are, uh, um, that was, the, which is a really difficult song. Oh, but I know she, the one. Yeah. But she, there's also, there's a woman that comes and does concerts here at Humphrey called Rachel Collis, who plays the piano. And um, she does some beautiful stuff. And twice now we've well, and we've, we've done her songs that she does in our that she's written in our concert. And this is the third time we've done one to Rachel. It's actually it's her husband who wrote this particular song, but it's really beautiful. And, and she she Rachel Collis had done it. She she sits at the piano and plays the piano and sings. But uh, at one time a few years ago, and, and she did it again last year. She brought a string quartet with her. And unlike most folk musicians, she actually reads, reads and writes music. You know, she knows what she's doing. And, and she wrote all the parts of the string quartet. So we did basically her arrangement of this song. And I've been wanting to do this particular song for years, but I keep putting off because I'm not the right person to sing it. But when I heard this Alicia Bagh girl, I thought, yes. So I'll, I'll play that one. Bugger, I'll play that one. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Don't get me. So this is not the song that she chose. It's the song that I asked her to sing, but she went away and learned brilliantly. Where is it? She can carry the song. Dum, dum, dum. I've had this ready if I've thought of it. This is in a format that's going to work. Ah, oh, it looks good.
That's great. <laughs> Lovely. Good. Not yeah. bad. Ross liked it. I got Ross to listen in. She liked it too. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. And a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. But yeah, mm. that's, she, she was a great find. And did you see the, the Nepalese guy too? Yeah. yeah. There's a there's a website that to back called Bandmix, which musicians try to find musicians, and I'm forever sending messages off to people. And I never get any response. You know, I tried to describe Lucy Wyvern, but, <laughs> but but he did, he did, and he, he was he's only 21. He was living in Stratfield, um, no car, no job, and I thought this is no way this is going to work, but it did. He came public transport over here for rehearsals and did all the concerts and loved it, and he's going to be. <laughs> The next one with us, uh, we're going to be doing too. So anyway, that's, that's that's my life. That's what I've been doing. Um, there is one uh, I've had. Um, those of you who have been to Hump Four, you recall a van being out the front. There's a bus and bus in a van. No, anyway, bus yeah. and a van. Yeah, there's a, a bus. Van. Yeah, there's a van parked outside our place. It was like somebody living in it. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Friend of mine, Harry Dingle, a wonderful singer songwriter. If I had time, I'd play play you one of his songs. But um, he's been he he asked if he could stay a night uh, um, fifteen years ago, <laughs> and, he, and he never he's never left. Yeah. And in typical his fashion, never actually asked if he could stay. But it's been it's been lovely having him. He helped with the building, help. He did the pathway out the front, and and he's just a wonderful musician. He's done a few con- the very first concert we ever did at Humford here. Um, had him in it and 19 years ago we did this amazing concert anyway, I won't go all that but anyway the fact is he died on Tuesday so. oh, oh, um, that's sad he got cancer and uh, it's, it's, he's had a horrible last little bit of time yeah. so yeah anyway yeah. And, you know, we, we're, we're going to go and see, we used to go to the movies together Gail used to go yeah. down to Canberra a lot to visit her parents and sister and uh, uh, and so Harry and I were on our own here and we'd and batch get some dinner and then we go down and watch a movie at the De Hoyts. Yeah. Um, and so we had not for a while. We we planned and then when he was really sick, we thought well, yeah, as, as as recent as last Thursday, we sort of planned to go to a movie to go and see June too, because we used to he liked to go and see all those science. Uh, yeah. yeah, I saw um, it. I saw it this week. <laughs> so we're gonna see June two yes, on Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, but he, he died on Tuesday. Died. Uh, so I, I'm I'm planning on going this afternoon. Yeah. Last see it it's 2 30 so i can't be much longer <laughs> you'll, enjoy, you'll enjoy it it's very well made yeah. i've watched yeah. the first one again i think i read it when i was a kid you know um mm. i did have a um a bit of a i, I don't know whether you realize because i don't think i quite realize myself to the extent of it but do you realize that i don't have any memory yes except <laughs> for computer stuff well even then i mean i have no memory of my childhood you know i, I can't I know I was a child, but I have no memory. I can't remember doing anything. There's nothing, right? No memory of school, no memory of university. Really? Um, no. I, I know I went there. I know, okay. you know, and I sort of could tell you the subjects perhaps, you know. But this goes right up, right up to the present. I remember bugger all about work. Uh, yeah. The three of you, I, I know it happened, but I don't, I can't, I can't pitch, you know, I can't sort of remember any days or anything, you know. Yeah. The videos and photos really help, really help. You know, that's why I take so many, I guess. But it's always been um it's always been an issue with me, which is why I guess I found being an SEO two so hard. You know, I'd come back yeah. to a, 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 you got you, piss off, Chris. You're interrupting our meeting. You're gonna <laughs> interrupt, come and say hello at least. Damn. He's gone. He's gone and shut the door. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I, I just, yeah, no wonder. I, I just, you know, wouldn't have remembered. And I, I know, and do you remember, one of the stories I tell about this is, you know, when you and I went to, and again, I don't remember doing it, I just know this happened in Manny because I told the story. <laughs> but we went to some music teacher conference, didn't we? You and I, Margaret. Did we? <laughs> and, and there were two oh, sessions. On. There were two sessions on at the same time. You went to one, I went to the other, and then we met each other for lunch afterwards. And straight up, I've just walked out of the session and you say, oh, yeah, what was yours about? <laughs> Seriously. I, and, and it was a case when I read a book. I read a book for university to do an essay or an exam and, and I get to the end of it. I think, God, yeah. Anyway, I... Um, we that's, were, why, that's why I've well, always it's... said, I've we, always we said were, a, a blunt we... pencil is better than a sharp mind. That's right. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we were doing a concert at a retirement village um, a, couple, a few months ago 
And uh, there's, a, there's a duet that um, that that we do um, that where I'm Boris Karloff, and and I get dressed up as a in a, in a grandpa mother's outfit. You know when it, you know had the wolf in shit, you know, get dressed up as a, looking like a grandmother. So Boris Karloff, I got it from the Rosemary Clooney. Remember Rosemary Clooney, George Clooney. Yes. Um, he had a TV show, the Rosemary Clooney show, and one week he Boris Karloff was the guest artist, and they sang his duet together. And he goes on YouTube, it's lovely. And so we were just copying that. And he was so I have this this nightgown thing and a, and a hat and and um, um, and and these glasses with eye, big bushy eyebrows because you know bushy eyebrows. And so what I used to do, and, and I've done it millions of times before. I just when the song beforehand finishes, I simply turn around, pick up the costume, start putting it on as I start talking to the audience. Do you know Boris? No, not that one, the mon the other monster, you know, because people would talk about Boris Johnson. You know, I said, no, no, we're not mm. talking about remember and what he was famous for with the as I was getting dressed, you know, and then do you remember Rose Clooney? And I just go through this whole little spiel, you know, and then I say, she had a show, we're gonna do this. Anyway, on this occasion, I song finished, I picked up the clothes. Just, mm. just blank. And I um and uh, you know, it, it lasted a minute or so, you know, and I, I I just, you know, and then I looked at the music and then and it just all gradually came back to me and mm. we did it and, mm. and and one of the uh, the staff there did the blood pressure afterwards and it was all right. But I went to my doctor and um and she got me all checked out, sent me to a cardiac yeah. hospital and all the rest of it. And um but I I and because we thought it might have been a mini stroke or something, huh? My cholesterol yeah. was really high apparently, but mm -hmm. I, uh, she wanted me to go on this bloody status or drug or something, which I've refused to do. Um, but I, I'm beginning to think, though, now, in hindsight, that it was just another example of the sort of thing that happens to me all the time. It's just on this occasion, it had to be very public, you know. I was standing, yeah. you yeah. know, because I'm, I'm forever sort of thinking, what, and I'll start arranging something and then realise that I got halfway through it and then I realised I did it. Yesterday, right? Like yesterday, you know, not, not yeah. a week ago. Did it yesterday, and I'd forgotten that I'd done it yesterday. So I, yeah. I everything I do in booking all these concerts, I keep copious notes. Every phone call I write, yeah. when I did it, and what they said, because mm -hmm. I otherwise. Anyway. So uh, apart from that, though, everything is fine, and I'm. I'm <laughs> if you buggers that are in Sydney, you should come along to one of our concerts sometime. Sandy comes along, Andrew, my other favourite. My blindy favorite blindy, and she knows you. You know Sandy, don't you, Sandra? Uh, I mentioned her before. I'm sure she knows who you are. What's She's her last blind. name? She what's comes to the name? Eastwood concerts and sees our things. What's when her I last talk, name? I'm sorry, I don't know. My shock is not my shock. But she, her name's Sandra, but all generally known as Sandy. Yeah. I was going to say short woman, but that's probably not much help for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's the person I'm thinking of. Oh, hang on. Comes from below him. <laughs> Sound comes from below. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, look, I really had better be going, I guess, if I'm going to get the gene too. If it's who I'm thinking of, um, I went to school with her. Oh. Mm -hmm. But without the last name, I don't know. Is my mic on soft, by the way? No, it's uh, fine. It's fine. fine. It seems okay. Uh, that's fine. That's no, let's nice. hope Ian's okay. Ian Hamilton, that is. Um, and mm. Ian. And Ian McKee. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. We get, get to that age, aren't we? We're somewhere yeah. else, someone else. Wheels fall off. Yeah. I've been yeah. to more funerals in the last year than I have any no, other. I've been, to, I've been to one a friend of oh, us. I've known for, well, all my adult life, actually. Yeah, he, he died of a stroke last year. Which was mm -hmm. a little bugger. Mm. Anyway, Margaret, you, okay. you have tell you better tell me you haven't been to Sydney in the last twelve months because if you ever come to Sydney, you're going to let us know, aren't you? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Yeah. yeah, preferably a bit of notice, and we'll all try and get. Yes. <laughs> if I'm coming to Melbourne, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going to Brisbane good. for the mandolin because you know I'm playing in the mandolin orchestra now. I'm playing in the Sydney. <laughs> oh, oh, I wanted to say, and uh, and and I tell you, I didn't think one thing. Just oh, okay, quickly. Um, I wrote, I went to Sydney University doing an arts degree, right? Did music mm. just, just part of an arts degree. Or well, given an assignment, and I remember this because I've told the story millions of times, right? 
uh, we were given an assignment to write a string quartet and I wrote a string quartet and I called it Quartet Movement, I think, um, by Wayne Richmond with an E on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Pretentious. <laughs> exactly, just being really silly. Right? <laughs> um, but I, I had it because I've got the, um, it's, it's, I've got the original handwritten score. This is 1972 or something, mm. 72. And um, um, and it occurred to me now with the Corona Ensemble, I thought, well, hang on, we might as well you know, have a go at playing it because it, it, it got played then. I do remember a, a string mm -hmm. students played it, you know. And because of it, um, the per the teacher who gave me the assignment said, Wayne, that is so good, you should change to a Bachelor of Music composition. And I did. And I remember the, I do, the little things I remember. <laughs> The, remember the, the the main reason I did was because it meant I could drop English and I was really behind. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was, anyway, so I, I did new batch of music composition for a year. And the, the silly thing is, I have no memory of doing that. I had I know I had Peter Sculthorpe as for composition, oh. <laughs> Eric Gross for comp wow. orchestration, yeah. but I have no memory of that at all. I can't remember one assignment, one essay, one tutorial, one lecture, nothing, just nothing. I just know I did it for a year and then went back to an arts degree because I'm no composer. But yeah. the thing is, I must, if I had to do a writer string quartet as part of an arts degree, surely as a Bachelor of Music Composition, second year, I would have had to do it right stuff. Yeah. Anyway, Nothing. No, but yeah. didn't you keep it? Didn't well, you I keep all your lecture one. notes? No. Okay. Oh, well, I must try and get on to win some of the members. But um, anyway, I do have this original string quartet. And I did put it into Sibelius and I got Sibelius to play it back in an action uh, So uh, we've we quartet, the Corona Ensembles performed it. It sounded pretty awful when they performed it because they got some people not very good. Um, but the Sydney Mandolin Orchestra, I played it, the Sibelius I played to him, to the conductor. And um, and he liked it, and he's arranged it for the Mandolin Orchestra and the Sydney Mandolin Orchestra are going to play Wayne. Oh, excellent! Uh -huh. Well done. Have you heard it yet? Like in rehearsal? Uh, we, we had a one re rehearsal run through. Yeah, it didn't sound. Uh -huh. Some bits of it that he, I don't quite like what he did, and there's some bits yeah. that I said, but I, he's, he's I didn't want to push it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, look, that's and, exciting. And, and I tell you, some of it's really complicated. Chromatic, I just can't believe <laughs> I wrote it. I, mean, I could do something like that now, you know. I mean, I yeah. arrangements are just so difficult. It's um, I, I could show it to you, Margaret. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, look, eventually the mandolin will probably before our next one it'll be performed and I'll, I'll be able to play it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I, better, I better go. I'm going to miss June too. All right. And yeah. it only goes for two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, I, <laughs> I had to take a toilet break on oh. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they don't have a break because movies used to have an interval, didn't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they don't do that anymore, do they? No. Anyway. Okay. okay. All right, people. All right. I, I nice you catching all. up. Indeed, all, catch up. Again sometime. And if oh. you come to Sydney sometime, Margaret. Yeah. Okay. All right. Andrew, all right. I'll yeah. give you, I'll ring you, Andrew, in the next week or so. I wanted to talk to you about the Apple Vision Pro and its Good accessibility. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a bit interested <laughs> in that. Accessibility yeah. if you're a millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not buying one. I just read an inter uh, article yeah. about it. That was really well, fascinating. I, I actually, <laughs> in November, I bought the uh, the 15 Pro iPhone because of some of the accessibility stuff in that, which is quite exciting. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Anyway, better go. Bye. All right. Bye. See you later. See you.